Well, there are three or four. There are a lot of areas I could mention, um, but I'll, I'll, um, I'll tell you some of the major ones and then a couple of others that people don't think about but are really critical. Uh, obviously, health care has been, um, we have made, we have made Wisconsin really the health care leader in the United States, uh, second only to Massachusetts in the percentage of people that are covered. And Massachusetts has a law that says you have to have health insurance. Uh, hundreds of thousands of more people have health insurance. Uh, all of our children now are insured. Um, working people that are in low-wage jobs now who could never afford, who didn't have employer health care, could never afford it now have, uh, now can purchase basic coverage for the meets, uh, you know, almost all of their needs. Uh, senior care and the way we have protected and expanded the prescription, best prescription drug program in the country for seniors. Uh, one out of five people in Wisconsin have health care and uh, through uh, the, uh, the many of our initiatives and um, and so that's critical and so you know people come up to me on the street and will say I just want to tell you the story and will tell me the story about their child that uh, had a hearing problem needed corrective surgery they were working they didn't have health insurance they couldn't afford it now because of Badger Care Plus that child has had the corrective surgery is doing well in school those kinds of things and so that's very meaningful and I think we not only have uh, gotten a lot of people health insurance, which is the number one goal, but the second uh, is we have demonstrated to the, uh, the country that uh, this, this can be done. Uh, there have been a lot of things in education. I came in with education as my major priority. We've dealt with very, very tough budgets, but I am proud that uh, we have really protected the educational system in this state, while most other states have made vast cuts in their education. We have not done that. Um, it's, it hasn't been easy in the last couple of years after the recession, the national, big national recession uh, got underway, but we've managed to hold it and made a lot of progress to accessibility to four-year-old kindergarten is large, almost universal now in the state when it was a small percentage when I started reinvestment in small class sizes. The Wisconsin Covenant, we have 17,000 students a year now um, uh, in eighth grade, say, pledge that they're going to work hard, they're going to go to high school, they're going to finish high school, they're going to go to college. We've tripled the amount of financial aid available uh, for, uh, for higher education. We, even, in this, even in the great national recession, we're actually educating more students in our university system than at any time in our history. So a lot of other things in education I could mention as well. Uh, but in addition, uh, and I know this is often very hard to see in the middle of a, of a, re of a recession of this magnitude, but uh, Wisconsin, um, our unemployment rate is two points below the national average. We have become the number one manufacturing state in the United States. Our agricultural uh, economy uh, uh, has been one of the strongest, uh, in, well, maybe the strongest in history over the last eight years, although it last in the middle of the recession took a serious dip, but that's back. We just, um, I've just uh, been, uh, it's been reported that our ag exports in the first nine months of 2010 have set an all-time record. Uh, we've really invested in modern, new econ economic uh, ec economies in, in uh, uh, renewable and sustainable energy and biotech. Massive investments, uh, two billion dollars of investment in scientific research buildings in the United States. And I'm going to just mention two others that some I could, you know, I don't go on with others, which I would be glad to in, in agriculture and, and in, uh, but um, one is I've had to hear the other side yell about taxes for eight years and just sort of put out these big untruths. When I started, we were the fourth highest tax state in the country. I pledged to get us out of the top ten. Uh, we had been in the top 10 for 20 years. We had been in the top five for, I think, five of the six years before I became governor. We're now 15th in the country. And when you take fees and taxes together, because we're a low fee state, it costs you a lot less to register a vehicle in Wisconsin than most any other state. We're 21st in the country. So we have done this in a way that has protected our taxpayers. It's been very hard. I've had to make deep, deep cuts. Uh, give you know furlough days and, and withdraw raises and do all kind of keep ten percent of the state um, positions are just vacant now. We've had to do all of that, but we've done it. Um, and finally, uh, I mean, to show you a lot of different things, but um, 
the numbers have just come out in Wisconsin for the first time in our history since we became a state has had a five-year period with an overall decline in our corrections population. And we have seen that with declining crime rates going on in the state of Wisconsin. When I became governor, we had 6,000 prisoners outside the state of Wisconsin that were being housed in, in Oklahoma and Arkansas and other states around the country. We, we had been building prisons regularly. Uh, during my time, We've, as I say, for the first time in the state's history, we've had a five-year period of time with a decline in our prison population. We've done that in a way with a, a reduced crime rate in the state as well.